Hey folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always, huge thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel, The Bushcraft Padawan. In my last video, which I'm linking to up here, I talked about and introduced this concept of different knolls. I mentioned that there are a handful of knolls, that primarily we tend to use just three of them when it comes to map reading and land navigation. And of those three, personally, there is one that I haven't really used a great deal and that was True North. And that's what that previous video that I've just linked to was talking about, True North. Now, I was no good at maths at school, but even I've worked out that there are still two Norths for us to cover off. And the purpose of this video is to look at the second of those three Norths that we'll probably use for map reading and land navigation. Let's talk then about magnetic north. Magnetic north is the direction which your compass needle, assuming that your compass is functioning and that it's not being affected by any metallic or electrical or any other substances in and around you, it's the direction that the, compass, the, the magnetic needle on your compass will be pointing towards. Let's deploy the orange that we talked about in a previous video. If you look down there, the top of the orange, you'll see that the chopstick has pierced the orange and that was representing true north that we talked about earlier on. You'll see that there are a number of lines running up to and intersecting with true north, sometimes referred to as geographic north. Those are those lines of longitude. And then if you look more closely, you can see a large black spot. And that spot is just there for illustrative purposes. Purists out you, amongst you out there, please don't start slating me for the position of magnetic north, which is what that black dot is representing. It's just for illustrative purposes. You can see there that magnetic north is not in the same place as true north. It is in a different place. Currently speaking, it's probably in the northern part of Canada, some of those islands off the northern coast of Canada, probably somewhere west of Greenland. It's stuck out there somewhere. To confuse matters even more, it's moving. It moves, you know, quite a significant distance each year. So just because it's there today, if I was to come back and show you this illustrative orange in a few years time, that black dot may have moved. But again, it's just for the purposes of illustration. So we can see there that true north and magnetic north are different things. And not only are they different things, but they are constantly changing different things. The angle between them, the distance between them is constantly changing as well. Quite a short video this time around. I think most people that are interested in navigation and map reading can get their head around this concept of a compass needle pointing in the direction of something, that's something being magnetic north. I do tend to find though that people that are just getting started with this often confuse magnetic north somewhere somewhere up there, no that's the sky, you get what I'm saying, somewhere north as being the North Pole and as we can see they are very different things and they are changing different things as well. So magnetic north is the second of these three knolls that we tend to use when talking about map reading and land navigation. Personally I haven't used true north a great deal in the past Magnetic North though, absolutely I've used that and probably use it every single time I take a map and compass outdoor to do some navigation work. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If there's somebody in your network you think would benefit from watching this, do feel free to use and abuse that share button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got a comment to make, you know what that comment box is for down below, either on Twitter, on YouTube, or on Facebook. And as always, a massive thank you, a very sincere thank you to everybody that subscribes. If you're not yet one of them, click on the icon in this bottom corner of the screen here, and as if by magic, you'll become a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.